good afternoon everyone this is the sort of weather we've been having here there's quite a lot of rain in the rain gauge already now uh, with this weather okay around midday uh, we were getting an error code 56 on the deer inverter and it had me stumped so uh, error code 56 is a low voltage fault I'm just opening the cupboard okay error code 56 is typically a low voltage fault and as you can see my batteries are full and they regardless of the weather most of the times by this time of day the batteries are full all right so i went and looked on the forums and people suggested battery connections and all that sort of stuff um so i know how good all my connections are but anyway i just thought well i'll check because i got three batteries another one in here That's all my gear out of my uh, ute because of the camper trail. This battery is also full. Um, and what would happen when we got this fault is that that inverter would trip out and this inverter would come on. The way it's meant to through the very effective changeover switch. And we wouldn't lose power. Um, but when it does change over, the lights just flicker for a millisecond. It's not enough to turn the computers off or anything like that. So I started in this cabinet. I checked all my connections, made sure I had good, good connections, made sure all the bolts were tight. And then I checked in this cabinet over here. Um, same thing, pulled, pulled them all off. Now that's got fuses in it, that box, that uh, power distribution bar down there. So I pulled that cover off, checked all the fuses, made sure all the cables were tight, pulled the lid off that box, did the same thing, checked in the inverter, everything's nice and tight. So. I straight away threw all that rubbish that was on the forums, the deer forums away and looked at it from a different point of view. Now in the inverter there's a couple of battery settings, a couple of settings in there and I'll take you inside and explain it to you um, on the computer. I'll, I'll get the page out of the manual and put it on the computer and explain it to you. Okay, so I've copied the relatively page out of the doc the relative page out of the document for the DR inverters. Now I have the eight kilowatt hybrid inverter, and I'm, mine's set for off grid use. Okay, it's not connected to any grid at all. So I'm at five point seven systems work mode setup menu. Okay. So in that setup menu, uh, you can see here, now I've only changed, now these settings, these, these are out of the book, they're not for my inverter, I've got a lot more solar and everything. Okay, but my inverter has these all unticked, okay, and it's set up slightly different, so don't take this, I don't have any grid peak shaving or anything like that connected. Okay, but what I did have connected, ticked, was load first. Okay, now my understanding of this setting, and I'm, I'm, I'm look, I'm far from an expert. Uh, these inverters are fantastic. You set them up, they work. People have said, oh, you don't do many solar videos now. I'm sorry. What do you want? You know, I turn, I, I, I start my video and say, you know, show me inverters and go, yep, it's still good, people, no problems. Um, it's so boring. 
Everything works. I don't have a problem. Okay, so that's why I'm not making many solar videos and, and, and I'm only doing videos when something of interest pops up now, like with me uh, camper trailer build and all that sort of stuff and me uh, slide on camper build, the new electric, electrical system going into that. There'll be videos on that. So for all you solar people, hang in there. There are videos coming, but just not on my house system because it is downright 100% boring. You know, it just works, people. It just works. Okay. Now, if you get an error code that says error code 56, low volt fault. Okay, that's the error code I had. And I've looked on the forums and a lot of, a lot of other people get that same error code um, this time of year or when they've got heavy cloud. And... All right, to my way of thinking, this box here means your solar is doing the loads first. And on days like today, there's not much solar. There's just enough to run my basic house. But as soon as I turn on uh, almost four kilowatts worth of loads, it said, well, not enough power there. I have to switch from the, to the batteries. And the time it took for the batteries to turn on was too long. And the inverter shut down and the transfer switch shut, shunted it to the other inverter. I mean in milliseconds, okay, because we don't lose power, even on the computers. But we do notice the lights flicker for a second. So I'm going, okay. And this happened quite a few times and I couldn't work it, work the problem out. So I went to the forums. Everyone said, oh, that's the wiring connections, like there's lots of complaints about the error code 56. So I thought, well, it's a low volt fault. It doesn't, didn't, uh, that, that doesn't mean just battery volts. That could mean solar volts. And I put two and two together. And, you know, like I said, I see this as a, as a setup issue and not a unit problem. Because uh, it was not faulting on the unit. The unit is working as it's meant to be. If it's got a problem, it's shutting down, resetting and trying to restart, which it did do. Restarted every single time. So I ticked battery first instead of load first. And it's been about four days. Um, so... And you can, I showed you what it's like outside, okay? Uh, not much solar in at all. And we haven't had that fault since I ticked that battery first button. So if you are having this problem, please go to your systems work mode. That's the little cog at the top uh, right hand of the screen. Tick on that. Go to the systems work mode. And if this uh, load first is ticked, tick this and then push accept. And that will probably fix your problems because it fixed mine. All right, that's it. I hope you didn't find this video too boring. I'm hoping it helps those with uh, error code on the DIA inverters of error code 56. Um, for that, I can help you with because I've actually had that one. And I found a fix for it. Okay, cheerio everyone. Keep safe. Bye for now.